this really, if, if I could change this build here and move Duelist to um, Quick Hands, I'd be totally fine with this. These shitty hybrid builds. Hybrids have been amazing. They've been amazing this entire playthrough. They have so much versatility. Tank around, they can do some hits, they can do damage from range, they can focus fire specific targets. Yep, Joey does have quick hands, he doesn't have bags. Joe's got really nice resolve too at 51 resolve after brain damage. Brain damage is mainly a problem while you're leveling. Swiss version 1 is pretty amazing. I don't think he was all that amazing. We know what the stats of the, the Hedge Knight can be. Manti's got probably probably the best stats that were coming up, right? I mean, if I look at if I go through all these traits again and again and again, it comes down to Swiss chocolate. I, I really like the determined buff on uh, Scott Reed. His stars are, he, he's a low rank, he's a messenger, so his background's not that amazing. I have a very hard time walking away from Iron Lungs. I think that, that ability is too good to be something I really throw away at this stage in the game. Mola Ways is going to be pretty sick too. He's got stars in all the right locations. I don't like Superstitious, but not much I can do about that. So between these three, huh? What about our low accuracy no mega guy? You know why he's not being a mega? Because he's gonna run with iron lungs. I mean Start looking at naked time and do a little bit of uh, comparison of size and things like that. at growth potential here. I mean, let's look at some growers and showers right now. Uh, we got Smookle coming in at... He's got three more levels. Does he already have his gift that he does? So we're looking on Our average of expands. two on that. Praise the sub. So we're probably coming in 75 there. Welcome, Mickey D. Thanks for the sub. Uh, yeah, but man, sir, I've been wondering about that too. It's a lot of work to do it, is the issue. Joso has a great accent in his back, thank you. Okay, so. Let's take a look. Swiss Chocolate. He's gonna go Mega, we don't care about his melee stats anymore. He's got 126 Stam right now. Let's just, for a quick comparison on one of our other Megas. It's our best Mega right now, 94, 84. 91 doesn't really count because they're in lower gear. These are both 320 gear. I think this is our worst mega right now, right? So. Alright. 151 stam there. Is he on track for that? For uh, this guy? 126. He's got six levels to go at three each. Uh, so, what, 18 there plus a little bit more? That would be 44. 144 plus some change. Yeah, and he doesn't have, he's he's more, oh, he's got gifted. No, he doesn't have gifted yet. Yeah, he's well on track to be better than Social Mechanic in terms of 
uh, stamina in terms of health. Maybe not in terms of melee defense. He's on track for 6-2s is 12, is 26 compared to 37. It's a little bit painful. Okay. Four each with two stars. Okay, so we're coming with a million stam, though. I do have one of my... Yeah, it's social mechanic with the low resolve, too. Is social mechanic potentially a contender? A fully leveled mega tank right now? have two other ones right now dude he's level 14 this is my this is ridiculous I don't want to give him up all right so this Swiss chocolate stats are good Joe Richter all right let's take a look at Smookle's uh, stats he's gonna end up with three more is 75 we said on average uh, two more th 28 75 34, 89. He's got iron lungs though. What is the value? What type of value do we place on that? His resolve is about the same. His stam is already as good as Joe's stam right now. And Joe's four levels ahead of him. It's a pretty solid fatigue indicator. His accuracy is going to be lower than Joe though. What are we doing with stamina? We're swinging weapons. But 100 and that much extra stam combined with iron lungs is going to be disgusting. I got people backseat game in my chat again. Um, certainly you're welcome to your opinions about that. I haven't actually found Reach Advantage to be very good at all. Uh, I haven't found Berserk to be... Berserk is good and the guy's getting the kills. The guys getting the kills are almost always the back line. And uh, I've found Killing Frenzy to be... Or excuse me, Killing Frenzy to be good on the guys getting the kills. Just the back line. And I've found Berserk to be highly overrated on everyone except the... Uh, except the archers. So we'll see. So it does kind of feel like that stamina is Joe's issue. I mean, the melee defense is sick. The melee skill is sick. Resolve is really solid. What about Scott? We haven't looked at Scott, really. So Scott's on par for, what is this? Three to four on this. So it's 3.5 times five. So it's 15 is 17 and a half, right? So that puts him at 79 is 86. He's gonna come in with basically Joe's level of accuracy. Uh, I don't think he's had his, so he has had gifted. Joe's level of accuracy, he's got uh, three stam, three to four stam. So three and a half, five more times. So it's another 15, uh, 17 really. So that's, what is that? 136, 146, he's gonna have higher stam. Um, his HP will be better. His resolve will be Terrible. His melee defense will be way behind, though. I do like Determined here. Determined's quite valuable. It's an accuracy boost as well as a defense boost. But Brute with the Great Axe is kind of nice, too. It's a damage boost. have two handers on the flanks real unnamed they're called hybrids and I don't know what you're talking about with 50% extra armor what the fuck are you talking about this is a really tough call it's between Joe and Scott. Reach advantage does not give you 50% defense. It's 20% per level, so it's always going to be 20% per target hit. Be really careful with that, too. It's per hit. Per hit. So uh, if you miss any attacks, you don't get that bonus. 
uh, and you need to be hitting multiple targets. You can look at the equations of when it's better than a heater shield, and it turns out you need to be hitting... The, the numbers to make it better than a heater shield are really, really poor. If you're just swapping your heater shield out every other turn, it's almost always better than reach advantage unless you're hitting like three plus targets every single time and your base, uh, base melee defense is disgusting. I actually find reach advantage to be terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, and it's just not consistent enough. Even with super high accuracy guys, you're not hitting uh, two targets consistently. And two targets doesn't give you as much as a buff as a heater shield anyways. So you really need to hit more than two targets consistently and it just doesn't do it. So reach advantage is fairly shit from what I've seen. Um, my, my belief is when we pick up this second set of the 300 armor, with what heals itself, we can start doing ridiculous things like AoE axes and stuff. Where you're just running out and standing in a group of guys. And then reach advantage if you're hitting five targets or four targets consistently might actually be something. Oh, I see you're thinking double attacks with reach advantage with Killing Frenzy. Yeah, you know what the problem with that is? Stamina. We just went through this. Like, I go th I've go, i heard your arguments for this, and I'm just not real convinced about it. I don't like the accuracy here. I wish this was higher. But I do really like Determined. I think it's got to be Joe. The stamina is really what's killing it for me on Joe. Like, Brute is great. I mean, Joe's been just so consistently good this playthrough, though. He's a he's a background companion. Thirty-four melee defense feels bad. This is fifteen melee defense, and it's only going to be in five levels. It's only going to be twenty-five. It's another ten melee defense here. No way to rebuild perks. No. Get rid of the messenger. I hate walking away from melee defense. These two stats are so important on the front line. We've got a two-handed axe in there too. We can kind of make up for this. I mean. Essentially what we've done with this the duelist spec here is we've fucked up stamina. I don't know, I do dislike the fact we're using a suboptimal perk build. Alright, I think I maybe ripped Joe. Pays compensation? No, you know how expensive? Well, I don't know. It's going to crush the morale of all my guys when I dismiss them. You know how expensive it's going to be, though? Yeah, it really hurts. It really hurts. Alright. It's on deck for dismissal. Alright. Coming 5k. I don't have 5k to spend right now. This noble contract is breaking my bank. All right. Oh, man. Ugh. I think. I think. How much money do I have? 9.5. Alright, Joe, we're gonna put you, we're gonna bring you, 
I don't think you're going back on the list because I think I'm going to retire you. Rip Joe. Okay. That's a really hard decision. Alright, let's take a look at Alfred. Okay, picked up Fearless, Eagle Eyes, no stars, shit roll, 110 stams a lot, 59 starting melees, whatever, uh, star in melee defense is good, star in fatigue is good, star in HP is okay. okay. I don't know about this. Eagle Eyed is of course useless, but it's not a negative. This isn't useless. Alright, so what are these projected stats then? 79 attack skill 20 and 5 is 33 defense skill 3 is across the bird is 35 is 145 fatigue eh. Yeah, he does feel pretty mad doesn't he we just get rid of him now This is Strom Taker, by the way. Alright, guys, let me know in chat what you think. My wife just brought me some food, so I'm gonna kill the webcam temporarily and do some eating.
All right, chat. Sorry for the break. <clears throat> Got some food in me, though. Yeah, pretty disappointing rolling ahead tonight. Disappointing I had to get rid of Doe. We do have that roster slot open now, so the next one will be a little bit less painful. Have some missions. Let's do it. Let's switch out some weapons. three arches for this at all. I actually kind of want to run uh, five and two versus this. Any way we could bring Manti in here despite his terrible, terrible remaining result, uh, remaining stamina. 
It's kind of a big one to fight on. Oh, I can't get another guy in there right now. I don't know, we already have one gimp in this fight. Maybe not maybe not a good idea to make it two gimps. Uh, we don't need to use a hammer on this fight. Noble sword ought to be fine. Okay. Oh, the spears are going to be useless because they're just going to get overrun before they get there. But these are mega tanks. They have no fucking accuracy anyway, so... Oh, that's not a mega tank. Does he, he doesn't have probably underdog. Do I not have another... Sword right now, I do. Okay, how about gear? Two ten on the corners versus a million wolves. Probably like a little bit better than that. All right, <clears throat> that looks a little bit better. All the ways. Can't really afford to do higher than that right now. Thirty. Thirty. 10, 30, 320. Alright. Gain Renown. Only 17. I expect 